Hello everybody, welcome as we're getting ready for, yet again, what happened? Okay. NCAA Football 12! As now it is after bowling and I'm ready to play the final game of the season. The Music City Bowl is next on the schedule against Pitt. EA Sports. It's in the game. Right, Snowy? Play it now because there's a lot of good games on at 7 o'clock tonight. So we're going to start this and try to end it around 7 ish. It'll be a little after 7, but. <sighs> Can we. Finish with a winning record this season at seven and six, or are we gonna be below five hundred? We're gonna find out here today. The answer will be determined in about an hour and fifteen minutes. Let's check the bowl schedule. Ohio State and Nebraska, I saw. Wait. Did I not move them around? Because they should be. Or was that something else? Let's check out some of these bowl games here for this season. Texas A&M and Pittsburgh. But well, we start off the bowl season with Nevada and Florida. And Nevada gets creamed by Florida Gators. <clears throat> Tight game here. Central Florida hangs on and wins against Boston College. Rutgers takes the win here against Troy. Oregon State with a win, 35-14 over Fresno. Oh, what a game here. Air Force beats Arizona State. Air Force with an 11-2 season, beating Arizona State, dropping them to below 500. 
36-28. And a come-from-behind victory as well, it looks like. Air Force. Look at that. Air Force. The last bit of the game. Wow. Two six and six teams. Somebody's gonna drop. Whoa, wait! What happened? I don't wanna send the whole. No! What the hell? What did I do? Come on. Can I? Oh my god. Are you serious right now though? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <sighs> I don't even know what I just did. What? Wait, it does say a score. Oh, no, wait. All right, never mind. Maybe it didn't do anything. I thought it simulated the game, but I guess it didn't. <coughs> oh, all right. Jesus. Boston College beating Central Michigan. Why? Why does it keep going back to week one when I'm simulating them now? Going back to week one. I already saw that. What happened? Oh my god. That wasn't even the bowl game. What happened here? So Michigan beat Western Michigan. North Carolina, SMU.
Stanford, Mississippi State, Oklahoma State, and USC. What the hell? They were ranked sixth with three losses? Ohio State, Alabama, National Championship game. Ohio State and Alabama. I will let that play after this game is over. I'm going to watch. I'm going to have that one going and record it. So. All right, we're going to play. And start the game. Let's do it! Let's do it! from good old Nashville, Tennessee, where they're getting ready to square off in the Music City Bowl. Hello, everyone. I'm Brad Nessler, and beside me in the booth is Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews is also with us. She'll be reporting from the sidelines. Tonight, we've got a great college football matchup presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We've got a great one between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Pittsburgh Panthers. <coughs> the makings of a good one so let's get this thing started for Pittsburgh they've got the difficult task of dealing with a very heady linebacker today he'll be keeping tabs on a really good running back today this ought to be a fun chess match kickoff is almost here but first let's head down to midfield for the coin toss <clears throat> presented by Nissan proud partner of the Heisman Trophy we're kicking Smith is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He'll return it from the one. Oh, I wasn't expecting a bye. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Caught me off guard. 
I could have drilled them on that too. For Pittsburgh, is there anything we should be keeping an eye on? They go with the spread. One of the things I really like about this is how it thins out a defense up front by getting so many receivers across the field. Whether they're running or passing, the defense can't be focused at the point of attack. He may have changed things up here. Brings it out left, and he stopped right away. So <clears> the old <throat> counter gets two, maybe three yards. They're changing the play. Yes! Nice stop. Nice there. stop. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Burke awaiting the return. And he's taken down at the 39. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line, first and 10. Go with the back, and he's got room. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Second and eight, ball on the 46. He makes his way to about the 38. And the fullback made him pay big time on that little run. No joke, he busted through there for some nice, nice yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Nice run there. Jones comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. On the ground with the tailback, Jones gets about four yards on the play. Short yardage situation here, it's third and one. They stack the line of scrimmage here, let's see who's got the stronger lineman. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. All right, man. Way too much jersey there. Pretty easy call for the officials. So it's first down and an eternity. Nice run, and he's brought down. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. Georgia, finally! And this play is number eight on the drive. Caught. And he 
was tackled at the 26. It took him so long to start running. Seven that time on the screen play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. <clears throat> Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. He throws it. He's picked Damn it! it off. This time, it's the safety. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from the safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From their own 23-yard line. First down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. First down, looking to throw. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. That is a nice job by the quarterback picking up the first down. He hung in there and stuck to it, even though the receiver ended up breaking off of his original route. They were definitely on the same page that time, and it helped that the defense was in man coverage. Anytime a quarterback has that much time to throw, somebody's going to get open. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense, and he's releasing a safety to stop the run. And the uh. run's broken up. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Mitchell drops to throw. Here's the long ball, left side. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Fourth down, and they're ready to punt this one away. Gets out to about the 31. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense will take over at the 31 yard line. <sighs> now he's scrambling. The cavalry's coming. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 48-yard line, first down. Throws it to the outside. Damn it. Out of the way. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Pickens steps back to pass. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. Adams picks him up six yards with a catch. It's third down, four to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Damn! Hands up up the middle and stuffed. That took a little too long to develop. And the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Smith is the punter. And it goes into the end zone. Damn it! For a oh, I thought I was going to get that.
They'll go to work at the 20. What? He's hit and taken down. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. They're changing the play. Drops back to pass. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Personal foul. Dropping the pass. Come on! This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Here's a screen to the wideout. Tackle at the 49-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Very good tackle in space. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. And that's the end of the quarter. We're scoreless after one. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Mitchell. Options. Left side. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Try to change the play. They'll make the sack. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Yes! And he's going to come up with a sack, and that'll get him fired up. They're going to have to make some adjustments next time they get the ball to try to slow down this pass rush. Fourth and long here after the sack. <laughs> and he has it on the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. They'll go to work at the 36-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they bring him down at the 38. Well, what can you say? Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. And it's on the offensive side on that play. They got away with throwing into some heavy coverage. First and 10, ball on the 38. Takes it right and brought down right away. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. Ah! On the delay, Damn! down immediately. Got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Picked off by the safety. Come on! Got 
Gets him open field. Tackle him! Damn it! The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he hits the PAT. Pittsburgh gets set to kick this one away. Takes it from the six. Brought down by the kicker. This drive will start at the 28-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Drops back to pass. Dave oh, my God, dude. Can you tackle? Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. Pittsburgh is up by a touchdown. And it's knocked away. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Mitchell, back to pass. He gets rid of this one. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Well, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He drops back. Deep pass to the end zone. They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. And he nails the long field. Uh, Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. Our score after the field goal. Pittsburgh, 10. Texas A&M, nothing. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Well, Herbie, this senior hasn't looked nearly as sharp as we've seen him in the past. He's made a lot of mistakes up to this point. But you know what? He's got a track record. And, and I think, I believe personally in watching him, that he has the ability to turn this game around and to finally get into his rhythm and get this offense going. Come on! Finley on the play. Let's check it out. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Oh, I thought I caught it! You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. Uh. That's exactly what they did by not making that interception. They line up at the 12. Second down. Oh, oh my God. Intended for his wide outs. Third down and a couple of miles here. Ball on their own 12.
Pickens. Back to pass. Damn it! And it's knocked down. And the coach is talking to his quarterback after that quick three and out. He missed on all his passes and really seemed out of sync with his receiver. So it's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Leslie, back to return it. And this one is a beauty. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. The offense will take over at the 45. It's first and 10. Oh my God! Boy, a golden opportunity. Catch the damn the ball! Sure interception only to be dropped. Jesus! From their own 45 yard line, it's second down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. He's changing things up. They go to the ground and he stops short. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Are they going for it? So it's fourth down and the offense is still. Well, they've been the stopping me, so why not? Oi! Keep it on the ground again. No, come on! Oh my God, man! For this offense, picking up that fourth down conversion, the running play was very well designed. I freaking had him back behind the line. You can't. You're not strong enough to freaking pull him back. Mitchell with the option. Good outside run there, and the option to the halfback gets six yards. Mitchell adjusts the play at the line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen. He had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. Here's the option. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Oh my god, again! How do you let him fall over the fucking line? You had him stopped again! Somebody on that defense has got to get in there and make a play. Whoa! Mitchell doesn't like what he sees. They bring him down in the back. Now you tackle him! The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Oh, God. Mitchell set to go to the air. Come on! Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. His season passing total now reaches the 2,500-yard mark. Think about how consistently accurate you've got to be to reach this level. It's nothing to sneeze at. Nice run, and he's brought down. Medlock comes away with five yards on the carry. They put everyone up on the line. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. 
Texas A&M. Calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. <sighs> and it sails through the uprights. Small, ready to kick. He's to the 10. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The offense will take over at the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Pickens, back to pass. Tries to get around the corner, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 35. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Fires deep down the right side. He Damn it. almost had it, but it's incomplete. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's going right. Come on! Oh my god! I... It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. It's the sophomore that's got it. Around an eight yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. He throws it, and he dropped it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. They'll throw for the first. Here they come, and he's taken down at the 48-yard line. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Pittsburgh 13, Texas A&M nothing. nothing. Pittsburgh is lining up to get their second half started. He's to the 10. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. The offense will take over at the 12. First and 10. Gives it to the back. He makes his way out to about the 25. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. From their own 25-yard line, it's first down. it out left to the running back. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Up 
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Looking deep to the right. Broke Come on! I got him beat every time, and it... It's third and one. Ball on the 33. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pickens drops to throw. What the There's hell? The backfield, but I didn't see what happened. First and about. Helping the passers. The officials have gotten really serious about hits like this. I think it's good for the game that they're doing such a good job of protecting the quarterbacks. Oh, man. From the 45-yard line, first down. It and, oh, he dropped it. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. From the 45 yard line, second down. Jones up the gut. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. I'm going and for it. Much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. <sighs> Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just punt this ball away. He scrambled. Damn it! The 37. They elected to go for it. I can't do anything in this game. I got nothing. I cannot do anything in this game. This will come back to haunt them. It's first the other way. Wow. He's got the junior. And he tackles him hard at the 47. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. All this to make a bowl game. And the quarterback was And we're gonna play like this. I just took the spot from somebody who really deserves this. Hands off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. It was right now the way this game's going, I don't deserve this spot in this bowl game. This is pathetic. I I can't do a single thing with this. Offense, I can't. Second down at 12. Ball on the 49-yard line. Everybody's covered field, all the time. In the gun. Five, one, and every two, time two. somebody's open and I throw the ball. Come on! And they make the stop at the 43. That screen gets around six. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Every time somebody's open, with second I throw the ball. Suddenly he's not open anymore. I, oh my god. Makes the grab past the marker. And he is drilled at the this 26. This is ridiculous, man. I, they 
pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary uh. just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. He may have changed things up here. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. He's changing things up. Mitchell, back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Oh! My guys can't catch this! That ball I, had interception written all over it, but the defender This is pathetic! I can't get no turnovers! On hitting that it bounces off their damn fingers every time! I can't... My defense cannot catch the damn ball today. Five wide receivers. Going for it all to the end zone! So it's fourth down. This field goal attempt will be about a 43-yarder. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. So our score, Pittsburgh 16, Texas A&M nothing. Pittsburgh ready to kick this one off. Taken at the five. Wow. He makes it out to maybe the. You just let him go line. right through you. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws it deep downfield. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Gotta be kidding me! I can relate to what this kid's going through. Today has just been a nightmare for him. But it's only one game. He <sighs> After a decent run up the gut. Medlock gets six yards after taking the handoff on the draw play. Mitchell calls an audible. No time to throw. They got in there quickly. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and cause him some problems. Mitchell, back to pass. Throws a bullet over the middle. Brought down right around the 50. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah. I had a, you know what? I knew they were going to go for it. They keep stopping me, so why the hell not? My offense can't score, so they have nothing to worry about. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Looks like someone was calling for. I stopped them. Decline. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. It's pathetic. It's actually sad that I'm only two down two scores at this point. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49. Oh my god, man. You can't set your feet and freaking run. That's a two yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Holy god, he caught it! There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. Nice. 
Jones gets another handoff. Jones gains about five yards on the run. Jesus. Rosen, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. He rolls out to the right. Come on! You've got to be kicked! At the 15 yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. Not too many points on the board as we end the third quarter. Our score, Pittsburgh, 16. Freaking pathetic! Absolutely pathetic! Quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. Come on! Man, that was close. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. Mitchell on first down. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. <sighs> Drops back to pass. And they got it. I can't force him to fumble or nothing, man. I can't get a turnover at all. From their own 25 yard line. Third down. He chucks it down. Oh my field. god. Yeah! Oh my god! He caught the ball! And he's taken down at the 34. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From their own 34 yard line. First down. He's going long. Finally! And a huge touchdown. Finally! And they had a tough time defending that one. But Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. two in this situation. <sighs> uh, this wasn't the play I chose. All right, work. Get the two. So with just over six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Pittsburgh, 16, Texas A&M, eight. Texas A&M to kick. He got all of that one. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. For Texas A&M, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. You know, all week long, the defensive coordinator for this team told us that it was a major priority to put pressure on the quarterback. That's exactly what they're doing. And for the Panthers, they're not only struggling in the pass protection department, they're struggling to get yards. Well, I think they're doing a great job right now with their athletic ability of putting pressure on the quarterback. And when you're an offense and you're struggling like this, it's going to put you in a lot of third and long situations, which obviously allows the defense to pin their ears back and just flat out come after the quarterback. Try to change the play. Jesus. Good open field tackle. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. 
That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. He's changing things up. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Pittsburgh holds an eight-point advantage. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down at the 42-yard yeah, line. Need a stop here. Mitchell steps back to pass. Come on! Oh my God! You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put gotta be kidding me! Let him go get it. And he's gonna be sacked. And they get a nice defensive <sighs> play. Well, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. Bumble! Yes! A big turnover! That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He may have changed things up here. Here's the run. Got a hole. Nice run, and he's brought down. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. Come on! Inside and hammered down. Jones gets about a yard on the play. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Are you serious? Down right away. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They line up in the jumbo set. Nice run there. Gutty play here to go for it by the offense. But they showed why the coaches have faith in it. That was a real nice run. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 17. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Jones takes it up the middle. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. Jones picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the draw play. Pickens drops back to pass. Rough in the passer. Backfield, but I didn't see what happened. He was a step too late, and he knows it. To learn not to make those kinds of mistakes. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Less than three minutes in the game. Rose. 
It's second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Got a man and he can't hang on in the end. Oh my God! Oh my God! He, I thought he caught it! Oh, killing me, man! It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pickings drops to throw. Passes and it's almost picked. Oh my God! Quick thinking there. You know they're liable what to put I the do? ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. So it's fourth and goal from the five, and the offense is still on the field trying to put this in for six. Oh, my fucking God, dude! Are you serious? In the circumstances, they just couldn't pull it off. you got to be kidding me! You better believe they're going to be working that clock. Can you clock. catch the damn ball, people? With the misdirection. My God, man! That's so pathetic! Into a nine -yard game. It's in your freaking hands! A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Oh. Third down, one yard to go. Ball on their own 14. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Oh. He's to the 20. He might have a chance. Dude, what the hell? Across midfield. Inside the 30. To the wow. Touchdown, Panthers. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's wow. that good. And it's apparent that the break between the regular season and this bowl game has had no effect whatsoever on this kid. And he converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 95-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. At the 30, at the 40. No! No, you bastard! You freaking got to be kidding me, dude! And some of the players are looking back because... I'm done! I'm freaking done! <sighs> That's bullshit! Trying to get some of that back on this upcoming play. From their own 23-yard line. First down. Just under two to go in the game. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. <sighs> and for Walton, he brings his receiving yardage to 100. This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. tipped away the safety comes up with a nice play nice job of the safety here sitting back and playing center field and then seeing the ball and coming up and simply batting the ball away just under two minutes in the game and he's tackled at the 15. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. I... 
Looking for six, almost had the interception. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. From the 50-yard <sighs> line, it's second down. Got his tight end touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. This is where you'd normally look for the onside kick. The coach must have something else in mind. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. <clears throat> They'll set up. <sighs> the Can my heart handle this with all my freaking screaming? Wow! Unbelievable! He's all the way home. Touchdown! really puts their backs against the wall and being honest it's not looking good oh blitz and it was that freaking open and he adds the extra point so with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter our score Pittsburgh 30 Texas A&M 15 small <clears throat> has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off from the seventh down the sideline and he shoved out of bounds at the 48 let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return now you're getting into pretty desperate time you've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick <clears throat> the ball very effectively on their last drive which ended with a touchdown the defense has been talking it over on the sideline trying to make some corrections let's see come on man I threw that well before he got there defense and get down the field oh the my god <clears throat> pickens back to throw third down now they need to get it down to the 38 Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pickens drops to throw. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big Mine. play. And that is just inexcusable. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Under a minute left. First down, look at the throw. Unbelievable. Oh, I give up. He set a new school record for interceptions in a game. How many extra possessions has he given his offense? That completely changes the course of a game. They're packed in tight on the line. And down he goes at the 25. Texas A&M will take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Where's all the blitzes? Really? They're not good. Oh my god. He'll get it again. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Now. Texas A&M will take a timeout. That's their second of the half.
Yeah, and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. Texas A&M will take their final timeout. <sighs> we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He kneels it down again. Oh, whatever. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Pittsburgh 30, Texas A&M 15. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Texas A&M probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. For Johnson, his reward for a solid performance is our player of the game honor. For the Panthers, they continue an above average year, upping their record to nine and four. Mm. And for Texas A&M, they drop below 500 on the season with today's loss. <sighs> for EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks for joining us in NCAA Football 12, and we'll see you next time. Freaking interceptions. Wow. Penalty's got to stop, dude. I don't. I cannot tell you. I. I can't remember one game this season that I've had less penalties than they did. Less penalty yardage. I don't think there's. I think every single game, I had way more penalty yardage than anybody else, than any of my opponents. Every single game. Look at all the freaking yards I got. And I couldn't score more than one time. Well, twice. That's a joke, man. 
Oh my god. That is ugly. Great way to end the season. That gives me confidence for you next season, doesn't it? <sighs> Absolutely no confidence anymore. We did not finish with a winning record this season. Well, this is the schedule of the season. Kentucky 10 to 6 win. Lost 46-17 to Arizona State. 31-28 to Vanderbilt in overtime. Uh 39 to 20 at Auburn win. Lost 45 to 11 at Arkansas. Beat Ole Miss 37-14. Uh then had another bye week and then Mississippi State lost 35-27. And then Missouri lost 44 to 20, 44 to 30. Then we beat Oklahoma 20 to 14, beat LSU 38 13. Alabama lost 20 to 13 earlier this morning. Oh no, that was last night, sorry. And then Texas earlier this morning, we won 29-24. And then just now, the bowl game, we have gotten beat 30 to 15 and finished the year six and seven, four and five in conference play. start a new stream and we're going to have the national championship game play oops let me stay on this page then we're going to play through the national championship game We'll be right back for the BCS National Championship. Ohio State Buckeyes and Alabama Crimson Tide go head-to-head -head for the national title. So don't go too far. We're going to have that game streaming right after this. <laughs> 